It's not looking good for Young Thug. According to a XXL article that I found, it updates us on the new charges that Thug is facing and where YSL is currently sitting with their ongoing charges. On Tuesday, August 9th, local Atlanta news station WSB-TV reported the Fulton County District's Attorney's Office had filed new charges against Young Thug, Gunna, and 26 other men affiliated with YSL. Young Thug and four other men, including Got It, now face additional charges. Thugger reportedly now faces an additional gain charge, additional drug charge, possession of a weapon during the commission of a felony, and possession of a machine weapon. Young Thug's attorney, Brian Steele, previously issued the following statement to XXL denying the rapper's criminal involvement in the case. In quotes, Mr. Williams has committed no violation of law whatsoever. We will fight this case ethically, legally, and make sure Mr. Williams will be cleared. Young Thug, Gunna, and 26 other YSL affiliates were arrested on May 9th with 56 counts charging the group with violating the RICO Act by being a violent street gang established by Thug in the early 2010s. Young Thug and Gunna have both been in jail without bond since their arrest three months ago. Both men have been denied bond on multiple occasions, and the trial date set for the case will be on January 9th of 2023. What does this mean for Young Thug and YSL as a whole? Well, Young Thug facing all of these charges, we already knew that he was getting denied bond. Same goes with Gunna, and the these new charges aren't going to change anything. I'm assuming it's just going to make it be the fact that Thug is just not going to get Bond in general. I'm kind of surprised Gunna wasn't able to get it whatsoever as well. And I think we all saw what happened with Gunna last month. There was some new stuff going on that he was trying to get some kind of illegal substances behind bars in jail, whatever. And whether that's true or not, I don't know. But it does sound like these prosecutors are definitely trying to make sure that Young Thug and Gunna cannot get out on bail or bond, whatever, and it just sounds like they want to keep them locked up until they have their trial date in 2023. This really sucks for Gunna just for the fact that he was having such a great year with releasing DS4 and we saw how much success that project had. He's had multiple songs go viral on TikTok this year. This was definitely supposed to be one of Gunna's most notable years in his career and it just sucks to see everything they're facing and the fact that nobody can get bond or get out from these charges at least as of right now it really sucks obviously i'll keep you guys updated as we get more information regarding this case but with this being said thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one